Today I'm going to show you how to replace the drive cable which is for the self-propelled wheels on this Craftsman lawnmower. Now that cable runs from this mechanism here all the way down to the front. You will need to remove this bolt first to remove this cover. Press the cover here to be able to get it off. Now what you need to do is to remove the cable from the housing over here. What to do is grab a pair of pliers and go in and squeeze the clips on the cable inside here. But first I'm going to show you what it looks like on another cable. This is what the clips look like. So what you want to do is to go and squeeze these two clips here inside underneath the metal. So first look inside here, line up the two clips that you're going to squeeze and then go in like this and then run the cable through the groove there. Next I want to remove this spring over here just to make things easier. Now this thing is going to move freely once you remove the spring and move it over, pull it up a bit and then move the cable down like this and it's out at this end. So everything that needs to be off is off at this end. Now there's also a little 5 16 bolt here holding the cable to the body. Now there's two screws on the side of the handlebars here that need to be removed. And you'll see that there's two nuts on the other side that screw onto those screws. There's also a little quarter inch bolt here that needs to be removed. Just enough to slide the handle out. And now you've got the whole assembly off. Now you're going to notice that there's another Phillips screw holding the mechanism together. You need to remove it. So now that you've got the screw off, you need to separate the whole mechanism in two pieces. Insert a screwdriver in here and gently pry out. If it's jammed in, don't force it because the plastic can break off. Then remove the cover there's the cable end. So in order to remove the cable completely just lift it up out of its socket, turn it like that and lift up. What often happens with these cables is that they get a bit of water in them, they jam up and then when you go to engage the wheels the lever won't move that's because the cable is rested inside or it's frayed inside and it's jammed up. So what I do for that is when I install a new cable is I spray in some liquid wrench or a bit of oil in there just to keep the rust from building up and corroding the cable. You can also use the WD-40 or whatever other lubricant you prefer. So now before installing the cable I'm just going to spray some liquid wrench down in the cable. You can also do this from time to time with your mower as preventive maintenance and work the cable up and down and all the lubricants going to go down the cable. So now when you're putting the cable back in just grab this end here, insert it into the hole like this and then put the cable down in its socket there. So that's how it goes like this. You can also take advantage and lubricate the lever in there. You can also add a bit of oil down in your cable again if you want to and lubricate this lever here as well. Now just insert the other side of the plastic cover back on Again, make sure that the cable is properly in its socket there. Then snap it in like that. Now you want to put that Phillips screw here back on. So now you want to insert the lever here into this part of the mechanism right here. And make sure it's in like that and tighten up the quarter inch bolt here. Now if this handle here comes off just put it back into the hole here. And line up the two holes here to the two holes down here. Just like that. And insert the two screws that go there. And then put the two small lock nuts on the other side and tighten it up. Next I want to attach the cable back 
to the clip here. Make sure you run your cable underneath the belt. And now you want to grab the end of the cable, hold it like this, push up the plastic part, and insert the cable like this. Now what you want to do is grab the cable, run it underneath like this, through the groove, and then snap the two clips in there. So now the cable is in there, it's nice and tight. And now you've got this spring left, you want to go underneath here and hook it to the plastic in this hole there and hook it in to that hole over there. You may find it easier to do this with a pair of pliers. And now it's in. And now just finish putting the cover back on and you're done. Now you can check your cable to make sure it's working. When you push this all the way it's going to click and stay there. When you let the lever go it's going to pop back. So now I'll start it up and see how the wheels turn. So the mower is a bit smoky. I think somebody had it tipped over. But as you can see the wheels work good. So it's not too hard as you can see, if you follow the steps, you should be able to do this.